A couple decides to adopt a boy named Cody, but they soon realize that the boy's dreams come literally true, including his nightmares. Today on Cinema Recapped, I'll show you before I wake up. The film begins with a child sleeping, when suddenly his father enters the room with the intention of harming him. However, something opens the door and interrupts him. Then we see a couple named Jesse and Mark, who want to adopt a child, and the social worker tells them that she has the ideal child for them. The couple seems to agree. That night, through the memories of the woman, we see that the couple had a son before, but that he died in an accident, since he slipped and drowned in the bathtub. The next day, the adopted boy arrives, and we see that he is the same boy from the beginning of the film. He greets them very kindly, and we see that he's very polite, and even takes off his shoes before entering the house. The couple shows the boy the whole house, including his room, and the boy seems to be very happy. At night, they take him to bed, but the boy takes out an energy drink from among his things to stay up all night. The next day, they take the boy, named Cody, to school, where he sees his new classmates. After a while, he returns home and takes a bath. Meanwhile, Jesse picks up Cody's room and notices that he's having drinks and pills to avoid sleep. At night, Mark talks to Cody about a book about butterflies, and then Jesse comes over to talk to him, telling him that she saw that he takes pills and drinks to keep from sleeping. So she asks him why he does that, and Cody tells her that he doesn't like to sleep. He says that he doesn't want to sleep because when he does, a monster comes out and eats people, and that this monster even ate his mom. Jesse explains that there's nothing to fear, and takes away the pills. Later, the couple is watching TV when suddenly they see that many butterflies appear in the room. The man manages to catch one of these butterflies, but then they all disappear without a trace. They go to bed, but Jessie can't sleep, so she goes to get some water and starts hearing strange noises. She looks into the kitchen and sees a boy running. Then she goes to see Cody, but he's asleep. Jessie thinks that she saw the ghost of her dead son, who's angry because they brought a new child home and feels replaced. So she talks about it in her therapy, but her instructor tells her that it may have been a dream or a figment of her imagination because Jesse hasn't been sleeping well lately. Meanwhile, Cody is at school drawing a butterfly when suddenly they bring a child who seems to be problematic to the classroom and punish him. But Cody decides not to pay attention to him and continues drawing. That night, Cody asks them who the boy in one of the paintings is, and the couple explains that he's their son, but that he passed away and is in heaven. Cody goes to sleep while the couple stays watching TV again in the living room. Then the couple gets surprised because suddenly the deceased son appears in the middle of the room, looking at them. They approach to touch him and realize that he's real. They hug him very happily, but at that moment Cody wakes up, and as a consequence, the couple's son disappears. They get very confused, and at that moment Cody enters, apologizes for what happened, and takes an energy drink to his room. The couple go to bed and talk about what they saw. Then the next day, the family has lunch, and both Mark and Jesse look at Cody strangely. The boy apologizes to them for having dreamt, and it's then that the couple understands that the things they saw in the house are Cody's dreams come true. Jesse wishes she could hear her son, so that afternoon she shows Cody a video where the boy can be seen at a Christmas party so that Cody can hear his voice, and the next time he dreams, imagine the boy's voice so that the couple can talk to him. That night, Jesse puts Cody to bed, and then the couple stay up to wait in the living room. After a moment, they see some colorful butterflies again, and then their son appears, happy and talking. Jesse is very happy with her son's return, although Mark does not seem to be very convinced. And at that moment, we see some of the butterflies form a monster and enter the boy's room to tell him that he'll always be with him, causing Cody to wake up. The next day, Cody draws this monster, which he calls the Canker Man, because he says that if he draws it and then scratches it, he'll stay away. When he gets home, Mark realizes that Jesse has put all of the paintings of his dead son back so that Cody sees them more often, and therefore dreams of him more often. Mark tries to make his wife see that they should not use Cody as a projector to see their deceased son, because they should also think about Cody and his feelings. He also tells her that they promise to take care of Cody, and that the boy they see is not really their son, but a representation that Cody makes in his dreams. Jesse doesn't listen to him and instead tells him that she will continue to see the boy. 
The next day, Cody goes to school when suddenly he meets the troublesome child. He throws a jar that he brought with a butterfly, so Cody decides to push him. And then Cody goes to his classroom, but is very sleepy since he didn't sleep last night. He falls asleep in class. Then the problematic child appears to take revenge on Cody, taking advantage of the fact that he's asleep. But at that moment, the canker man appears and eats him. And this is seen by one of the other kids. Jesse goes to pick up Cody from school, and when they get home, the boy feels guilty because he knows that the canker man was at school when he slept, and he feels responsible for the disappearance of his classmate. Mark tries to talk to Cody, and then goes to sleep while Jesse stays in the living room to wait for the boy to fall asleep, and therefore see their dead son. But Cody drinks a lot of coffee and doesn't sleep. Cody stays up that night looking at his butterfly book. Suddenly he hears a noise under the bed. He looks, but doesn't find anything, and when he sits back on the bed, a monster behind him yells at him. Cody falls out of the bed, scared, while the monster starts scratching his feet, so Cody starts yelling that he's awake, so the ghost will disappear. The next day, some policemen arrive at the family's house to talk to Cody about the classmate who disappeared, and then Cody and Mark build a new bed shaped as a car. That night, Jesse decides to give Cody a glass of milk but she puts some sleeping pills in it so he starts to feel sleepy and is taken to bed. Before leaving the room, Mark tells the boy how his other son died. He tells him that he drowned in the bathtub because Cody was curious about that. The couple talks for a while in the living room before going to sleep. Suddenly they see their son. Something is strange and Jesse approaches him, but at that moment, a liquid pours forth from his mouth. Then the canker man appears so Mark runs to wake up Cody so that the monster will leave. However, he doesn't wake up because he's very much asleep due to the pills. Jesse tells her husband that she gave pills to the boy and both lock themselves in the room so that the monster does not enter. However, the canker man opens the door and Mark tries to fight him. The monster ends up devouring him and then hitting Jesse. She falls unconscious on the floor and when she wakes up, she sees Cody is very scared. After a while, the police arrive and they ask Jesse what happened, but she doesn't know what to tell them. The police proceed to take Cody because they believe that Jesse hurt him and her husband. The next day, Jesse goes to talk to the social worker to ask her where Cody is, but she's very angry because they told her that Jesse drugged the kid with pills. Getting no help from the social worker, Jesse decides to steal Cody's documents to see if she can find him that way, but then she realizes that he had other families before. Jesse decides to go see a man who adopted Cody in the past, and we see that it's the same man for the beginning of the movie. He tried to kill Cody, and he's now in a psychiatric hospital. Jesse asks him what he knows about Cody, and it's then that the man tells her that when he and his wife adopted Cody, they also realized that their dreams come true, but also their nightmares. He tells her that one day his wife was a little sick, and Cody got upset about it. That night, a monster came and ate her. Since then, he could only see his wife while Cody dreamt. But Cody did not remember her well, so, in his dreams, he'd given her a stranger's face. The man says that the child should be dead, so that he can't harm anyone else, but that he couldn't kill him. Jessie refuses to kill Cody, stating that she'll find another way to get rid of the monster. She begins to investigate who his biological mother was. She arrives at a hospital where Cody's mother was hospitalized before she died, and begins to read the file about her. Then she asks them to let her take the woman's last belongings and when she gets home, she sees the contents of the box. She finds a butterfly, a pair of shoes, and a diary. Meanwhile, the social worker sedates Cody because he's not wanted to sleep for several nights. Cody then falls asleep and butterflies start to come out all over the place. Jesse arrives where Cody is staying and starts looking for him. Suddenly, she hears her dead son talking to her from a bathroom. Jessie enters the bathroom and approaches the tub, seeing her eyeless son drowning in the water, but the woman decides to leave, finally accepting the death of her son. She keeps looking for Cody, and on a monitor in one of the rooms, she sees Cody dreaming about her and her husband. But he's dreaming that she's manipulating him to transform him into her son, implying just how uncomfortable Cody felt, because he knew that Jessie only wanted him so she could see her dead son. Jessie gets out of there and continues walking through the corridors until she finds the room where Cody actually is. However, at that moment, the canker man appears and throws Jessie out of the room. 
The monster runs towards Jessie, intent on eating her, but Jessie takes a butterfly out of her pocket, the same one that belonged to Cody's mom, and the monster stops to see it. And Jessie approaches and hugs the canker man, and little by little the monster turns into Cody and then disappears. Jessie goes in to find the real Cody, who is still sleeping, and takes him out of that place. Once they're home, Jessie explains to Cody everything that happened, that his mom took care of him when he was little, but that one day, she got cancer. She also tells him that when his mom was very ill, she said goodbye to Cody and told him that she would always be with him. But Cody was too young to understand that his mom had gotten sick, so he thought a monster had killed her, and confused the word cancer with canker, and that's why he called the monster the canker man. Then Jessie tells him that now she's going to take care of him, and that she'll never use him to see her dead son anymore. The end. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe to continue receiving recaps of the best drama and horror movies. Thanks for watching.